welcome to episode three. It's run number five. I say good morning. It's not the best start to a Monday morning, I must admit. It's bleak, it's raining, soaking, hot, sweaty. But I am out here and I am running. The rain this morning really tried to put me off. It was bucket, bucketing it down. I thought I'd uh, grab the break in the weather. But it started raining again. Not as bad as it was before, so hey, it's not too bad. I am halfway through a 40 minute run session. A bit stiff this morning because of my body coach strength training session yesterday. It uses muscles that running doesn't use. So yeah, despite stretching, I am a bit stiff. So, have a See you guys. to another, another morning, another training session. We are on my five minute warm up walk. Are you bored of this stretch of road as me? Because I'm getting a little bit bored of it and I've got quite a while to go yet, unfortunately. Many weeks with the same route. I really need to get a little bit more adventurous. Um, the weather's not too bad. Sun's out, a bit windy. I don't know why I put a jumper on. Again, me misjudging the weather. Just thought it was a little bit windy this morning. No doubt it'll be coming off really soon. Um, I have got a new podcast to listen to. I've got Josh Widdicombe and... Oh gosh, anyway. Yeah, new podcast to listen to. I'm sorry guys. I, um, I'm hoping it's good. I'll let you know if it is. It was recommended by a friend. Um, so yeah, it's about parenting, lockdown life. So it should be quite funny. Um, an, easy, an easy one today, a 14 minute run. Two minute walk and 12 minute run then and then probably just run more so we'll see how we go. See the sun's out and I'm already really warm. So I am gonna get going, take a jump off already, and I'll see you in a bit. Halfway through the run now. Very really well apart from the wind. Podcast is really funny. Sorry, Rob Beckett and Joss Winnicum talking about parents in the lockdown. It's really funny. <laughs> If anyone thinks that, that they are bad parents during lockdown, this is a perfect podcast for you. If you're not the parent, sorry, if you're not the parent that's been making art projects, making every day special, then this is a, pro a normal parent. And this is the podcast for you. It's really funny. Run is going well. Quite a fast pace this morning, hence why I can't talk to you very much. So I'm going to get on with it. Sorry for the wind. So that is it. Long run done for today. Eight miles. Great run. Tired legs towards the end. Last mile. A couple of stop starts. Have to be honest. Um, I think maybe I need to slow my pace down a little bit. I'm still running quite fast. 10k for me and it's certainly going to be quite a fast marathon pace for me don't get me wrong i'd love to be able to keep it up but maybe if i slow down a bit i'd get longer out my legs that's the theory anyway trying to slow down though is hard i do try and go with what my body's saying rather than the pace but i suppose that's what running coaches are for and i wish i had one i keep reading so much stuff online and in books, tempo runs, easy runs, race pace, marathon pace. I just run and I know I shouldn't. I know I should slow down and adjust my pace. I just don't know how. But anyway, done for today. I am a big, awful, sweaty mess. It's not pretty. I'm gonna have to get myself a headband and um, some sweatbands because yeah, it's just not pretty. It's even in my ears. Anyway, that's me done for today. Gonna go have a shower. Got some jobs to do. I'll have a nap this afternoon. 
and then it's time for my working week to start. Even though it's Thursday, my working week is just starting. So yeah. My arm's starting to burn now. On a separate note, last week, um, Run Disney announced that they were not showing the, not showing, they were not carrying on with the Wine and Dine Half Marathon, which is in November. A little bit upsetting news, I'm afraid, considering the marathon's only two months away. I don't know, maybe they're focusing all their energies on that and can't do both. So obviously you need to think about personnel, you need to think about the hospitals, the strain on health support, but the marathon isn't easy. They're obviously doing a virtual race, but only available to US residents, which I am not going to do, obviously, because I'm not in the US and I'm not signed up for it anyway. Just trying to watch this space for the marathon. They did In the press statement, they did say that the marathon is planning on still going ahead. They can't commit to that right now. Everyone's talking about a second wave, especially here in the UK. Certain parts, of the occasional parts of the UK keep going into lockdown. Florida is really bad for it right now. Whether this herd immunity will be a thing, I'm not sure. But hey, we'll have to see what happens. We're just keeping everything crossed that it still goes ahead. So I will see you on my run next time. Well, I am on the home stretch right now. Well, home stretch. Another two and a half miles to go. My legs are feeling it today, which kind of makes me a little bit upset, really. I'm disappointed. I'm still walking, I'm still moving, never stopping. I'm still moving forward. I just have to take positivity out of that, I suppose. But yeah. Anyway, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Let's do a montage at the end of these. Of the, the, the different, but yes. Two and a half miles to go. Almost there. Breakfast is in sight. Can't wait. That's it. I'm done. Nine miles. One hour, 27 minutes. Not bad. I'm knackered now. My legs ache. My feet ache. Feet ache. Yeah. Warm, sticky, hot and sweaty. Why do people run, eh? We talk about the runner's high a lot. I certainly don't get a runner's high while I'm out. I think I certainly get mine when I've finished it. Oh, it's starting to rain. <sighs> kind of what I needed. I get mine when I've finished, when I've had a shower, or even when I've just finished this bit. And the sense of achievement, I did it. Might have had a few moments where I stopped for a second, just to readjust. But yeah, I did it. My legs moved, nine miles. Just a few more to go. Let's not talk about that, hey? It's now about quarter to 11. Half the morning is over. I wouldn't be able to do this right now if it wasn't for David, for not being able to go back to work yet because of the children. He had been planning on going back to work this week but because lockdown came in in Manchester, he's had to stay at home again because the children can't go to their grandparents. They can't go to their grandparents to be looked after there. So, but if I paid for a registered childminder, they could go there instead, which I just find absolutely crazy. So that's the government for you right now, but I'm not getting into a political debate because I don't know enough about any of it to properly comment. One more run left of the week, which is an interval training session and then a strength training session if I get a chance to do it. So it's Thursday today. I'm working all weekend, two 14 hour shifts. And then I need to wake up early on one of my early, one of my long days to do my strength. Let's see if it happens. I've been so, I've been really good so far. So fingers crossed I do do it. It is my last week at work this week. I'm starting a new job on Monday. Really, really excited about it, really excited. But I'm very upset to be leaving my friends. I said goodbye to some, a couple of people last night that I've worked with for 10 years. One of the girls I've worked with as a student. So I've known her for seven years, seeing how, what an amazing midwife she's turned into. So it was really upsetting last night. 
I didn't think I would cry. I didn't think I was that type of person to get upset about it, but I did. And then come Sunday, Sunday evening, I'm gonna blubber. So, yeah, I've made some amazing friends over the last 10 years. But it's not goodbye, it's see you soon. That's where I'm gonna sign off. See you soon. Thank you.